Hi there, my name is Vass and I welcome you to the first step of a 5 step video tutorial package on how to create a live wallpaper using the live wallpaper creator. It is strongly recommended that you first go over the step 1 setup environment PDF document that is included in the live wallpaper creator package. The document is much more detailed than this video. This video tutorial is meant to be more of a hands-on demonstration on how to make a live wallpaper. In this tutorial, we will be preparing the environment for the live wallpaper creator. So without further ado, let's get started. So you should have by now downloaded the lwpcreator.zip package and uh, hopefully place it on your desktop. We have it here on our desktop. And what you want to do is right click on it and extract right here. It creates a folder. Open up the folder and go to the folder called user guides. Step one, setup environment and open up the PDF document that's there. Now, if you go to the second page, as you can see, there's three dependencies that you have to have for the live wallpaper to work. The first one is the .NET Framework version 3.5 SP1, available from Microsoft. The second one is uh, Java, uh, or the JDK version uh, 1.6, uh, update 27, that's the one we'll be using. That's available from Oracle. And the Android SDK, uh, obviously that's available from, from Android. So the first thing you want to do is download these before you start setting them up. So you're going to click on the first link and you can download the .NET Framework for straight from the Microsoft website. Now if you have Windows 7 or Windows Vista uh, you probably already have this installed. Uh, those systems come with a framework already installed into them so you don't need to download this but if you're on XP uh, then you might have to download this. Um, so all you do is click download and just go through this process and it'll ask you if you want to keep it or discard we want to keep this now I don't need this but I'm just showing you that you need to download this if you have Windows XP uh, next would be the the JDK click on that takes you to the Oracle website the official the official Java website um, Live Wallpaper Creator only works on uh, Windows operating system, so you only have two choices here. Um, the Windows x86, which is for 32-bit systems, and the Windows x64, which is for 64-bit systems. Make sure you click Accept the License Agreement before you download, otherwise it won't let you. And choose the one uh, that is compatible with, yours, uh, with your computer. I have a 32-bit system, so we'll click on the Windows x86 link. And finally, if you go to the Android SDK and download this one, once again, only Windows is compatible, so you either download the zip or the exe. We recommend you download the exe because it is much easier to operate. So go ahead and click on that. Now, I've actually gone ahead and downloaded everything before starting this tutorial, um, and it's all right here. I don't need the, the .NET framework, uh, so I did not download it because I have Windows. Windows 7 and it already comes with it. So, but the other two are right there and I'm going to cancel them so that you guys don't have to wait for it to finish. So the first thing you want to do is install the JDK right here. So double click on that and wait for the installer to come up. And there you go. It's a simple wizard, so click next. Now take note of the path that it will be installing to. Uh, the default path is C uh, program file slash java slash jdk 1.6.0 underscore 27. Now that is fine with us but remember if you change it you will need this for the second video tutorial. So we'll go with this default path. Click next and just wait for uh, java to finish installing. Okay, this is the second part of uh, Java installation. We'll install the Java runtime environment, which we will also need. So this path is fine with us. We won't need it for uh, the second tutorial, but just go ahead and click next. All right, we're done. Now it's going to put up uh, a registration page. It'll ask you if you want to register the Java installation, but I'm going to skip this step for now and get to installing the Android SDK. So double click on that. This setup is a little quicker. Click Next. It will let you know um, 
we'll do a check if Java is, has been installed. If, if it's not, then I will let you know that you have to install it first, but we just did, so we're okay. Click Next. Once again, make note of this path. This is important. Uh, we'll need it for the second video tutorial. So we're okay with this. The default path is C program files, Android, uh, slash Android dash SDK, so that's okay. Click Next, Install. Done. Uh, we'll, we want to start the SDK manager. We gotta download some things. And as soon as it starts, it will check for all the packages that are available that you don't have but that you can download. It will automatically select the Android 4.0, we don't need it. It will automatically select the extras, which we don't need either. Uh, it will also automatically check the Android SDK platform dash tools that we need. So leave this checked, this is important. And the number one important thing that you need to download is the Android 2.1 API 7. We want the SDK platform. We don't want the samples for SDK or Google APIs by Google Inc. We just want the SDK platform and the Android SDK platform tools. Those are the only two packages we want to download. So once that's done, click install two packages and then install. And you just wait until it finishes. And it looks like we're just about finishing up. The package that depends on ADB has been updated. Do you want to restart ADB now? Let's go ahead and do that. And there you go. Done. Two packages installed. Done loading packages. Perfect. And on that note, it concludes the first video tutorial. Thank you for being with me and I hope to see you in the next video. Step 2. Configure the live wallpaper creator.